good morning. Um, so I've just driven up to a place called Royden Common, um, which I actually saw on a recent video from JVO, Jamie Overland. Um, he was here on a very windy afternoon, but I thought uh, I'd come up and have a look for sunset. Um, and it was pretty worthwhile, because if I turn around, that's what I'm currently imaging. Um, it's really nice. I didn't expect there to be some mist, and there is actually some really nice colour in the sky. So I'm going to stop talking to you and grab a couple more shots of this uh, rather nice tree, um, and then do a bit of an explorer around here. I only just realised while I was taking that picture, there's cows under the tree. It's a cow area. I think it was a cow. It's kind of silhouette-y. Anyway, I'm leaving that tree now. I'm going to find somewhere else. Um, so, one of the reasons for coming here um, now, as opposed to winter or something, um, is also because of this really nice heather. Um, which has some pretty good colour on it, so I think it's uh, probably about the right time to be shooting it. So once the sun comes up, um, I'm hoping that um, it'll get illuminated quite nicely. Um, but I'm going to carry on walking around the edge of the common here and see if I can find a few more of those nicely shaped trees. So I'm just walking along the path here and spotted these two trees, um, which looks like it could be quite a nice shot with the, uh, the footpath as a kind of lead-in line. Um, but yeah, the sun's not up yet, so the light here is a little bit dingy. There's less mist behind it. So I think I'll bear these ones in mind for a little later. So I'm hoping that the, um, the footpath I'm walking along um, is actually going to go up there, which I don't think you can really see on the picture there, uh, but it's, it's kind of going uphill, um, and then we look down into the mist across the, uh, I hesitate to say valley, slight incline, um, but yeah, I think I'm going to aim up there, and hopefully then, looking downwards, um, be able to pick up quite a lot of the uh, the heather sort of spreading off into the distance just as the light comes up. Um, that's the plan anyway, see if it works. So you can just see the sun poking up between those two trees, so I figured I would stop as I'm walking along the path here and uh, grab that little image. So, the, uh, the sun is now coming up, as you can see. Um, I'm actually just uh, grabbing an image of this tree down here, um, but I'm not actually including the sun in the frame, um, so I'm zoomed in fairly close on the tree, um, and then there's some nice sort of mist behind it, so it means the tree really kind of stands out in the image. Um, you don't have all the distraction of other stuff behind it. So I'm hoping that one will look quite nice, and there's a bit of, um, a bit of pretty heather in the foreground, which, um, again, I'm hoping is about to catch the light. So, although I've taken one image here, I'm just going to wait a few more seconds because um, I think if the sun sort of picks up on the heather there, that should look quite nice. So, uh, just for completeness there, um, I also took an image with the wide-angle 20mm lens uh, just to include the sun in the shot. 
Um, it looks more dramatic, but I'm not actually sure whether I prefer it or not, but I guess I'll find out later when I get them onto the, uh, onto the computer. So I'm going to carry on walking along the footpath now. Um, I think I saw in the distance some kind of weird tower thing. Not entirely sure what it is. Um, so I think while I'm here, I'll see if I can find that. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the sunlight's really starting to pick up on the heather now, which is nice. So, I think, just behind me, uh, might make quite a nice picture as well down this path. Um, so I shall stop here and grab another image. So, looks like I can go straight on ahead here, um, or I can go up here. So I might go up the hill for uh, the higher vantage point that I mentioned earlier, and see what that offers us. Well, I didn't actually have to walk very far up this hill at all, about that far. Um, I found this uh, tree, which is sort of silhouetted quite nicely. Um, so what I've done is tried to also include this um, this sort of heather down here in the foreground with a fairly wide shot. Um, the problem being, of course, that I've got a massive range of light levels, so I need to bracket the images for that, um, and also to get the heather in focus and the tree, um, I need to focus stack as well. So I've shot a variety of images, basically, um, and I'll plug all those together later on and hopefully come out with something halfway decent. We shall see. But for now, I shall carry on walking up this, uh, this small hill and see where it takes me. I said there was a weird tower thing, uh, so I found it. Um, I don't know what it is, it's a sort of, well, a brick tower, and I can actually see another one, uh, sort of three quarters of a mile away in the distance. So that looks like an informative board, so I shall peruse the informative board and see what it says. So, military observation towers, apparently. Um, so I guess the question is now, where to go next? Um, all around me, it's just heather. So, I need to find a footpath. I shall do an investigate. So I think I'm going to stop um, shooting into the sun for a little while because there's some kind of light cloud in front of it. Um, so that means that basically the whole sky just kind of blows out to white really easily unless you underexpose by a huge amount. So I think for the next few images um, I'm probably going to try and use the sun to illuminate stuff rather than have it in the shot itself. Um, so, I'm back to a little gate I went through earlier. I'm going to sort of start aiming vaguely back towards the car now. But uh, yeah, see what I can find en route. I don't know why they made these paths out of sand. 
because it's really hard work to walk through. Most irritating. I shall file a complaint. Um, anyway, right. Walking back up the uh, sandy path, back to the other gate that leads through to the uh, sort of other half of the heathland where I started from. So, um, little tree, uh, quite a nice shape. So I've just stopped to grab a picture of that um, I'm using the 135mm to zoom into it. Um, but even at f11 on that, the depth of field is not very big. So I've got about five shots, um, which I will focus stack later on um, and should come out all right. There is one problem with the sun coming up, is that I'm now getting eaten alive by a million little midgy flying bastard things and they're really irritating um, yeah <sighs> maybe nature isn't for me I don't know. anyway right I'll grab the last of these images and then keep walking so I've just found another nice tree there are many of them here I recommend a visit um, just there, and it's actually sort of on a little, uh, little sort of hilltop from um, from where I'm stood, and that's all covered in lavender, which again probably doesn't lavender heather, um, which probably doesn't show up very well uh, on that screen there. But hopefully the final image will be rather nice. Um, I may then just wander up to the top of this little sandy dune cliff thing um, just to see what view there is back that way because there is still quite a lot of mist so even though I think shooting into the sun is going to be quite tricky um, I might have a little play around and see if I can come up with anything interesting. more along that ridge line uh, to see what other views it offered but the uh, the foliage up there was sort of up to uh, testicular height so walking through it was quite difficult um, so I've come back down to the main sandy footpath uh, and I will carry on heading back towards the car and uh, if you remember from earlier in the video there were those two trees on this path um, if that shot looks worthwhile, I shall grab that as well. So I took the picture of the two trees. Um, I'm not convinced it'll be the best picture of the day. Um, it would have been better with one tree. I did actually frame it with one tree, but it gets pushed a little bit close to the edge of the frame. But uh, in any case, I will put those pictures up on screen now. So I'm heading back towards the car now. Um, so all in all, a successful morning, I think. Um, I think I've probably only scratched the surface of this place because it is huge and I've seen all sorts of really nicely shaped trees off in the distance. Um, this is a mile away, which I didn't really know how to get to. Um, so I think it's probably going to be worth a repeat visit at some point. I'm not sure how long the, uh, the purple heather sort of flowers for really. I think that definitely adds to it. It'd be a very, uh, very different place in the winter, um, but perhaps still still worthwhile, um, especially on a misty day. I guess in the winter some of these nice trees would work well as a mono. Um, but anyway, thanks to uh, Jamie Overland, as I say, for coming here before me and making me aware of it. It's not far off the main road to be honest, so I've driven past here plenty of times, I just didn't know it existed. We need to spend more time peering at maps. 
Anyway, time to head home and have a look at all the images, uh, which you've already seen because I scattered them throughout the video. Uh, as ever, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, feel free to click on subscribe, give it a like, click on the bell, all that nonsense. And uh, yeah, I shall see you again soon. Thank you.